going on, mortals? Mortal to yeah. Welcome to How to Tame. A series where I will be covering every tameable dino in arc, going over the best ways to tame them, going over their features, slash abilities, slash roles in arc. Well, first, a small disclaimer. All this taming is done on a boosted server, but the taming method is exactly the same that you'd have to use on an official server. But if you're playing on an official server, you should know by now that it's going to take you a lot longer to gather the resources and a lot longer to do the taming. But with that out of the way, let's get to what we're going to be taming today. First, I want to address what the hell is going on behind me. This beaver is attacking my base. Well, my taming pen. Not for long. Oh, yeah. oh it... Look, it knew I was aiming at it. You better run off. Ooh. Are you going to attack something else? Don't. Right there. I think we got to take care of this beaver before we can get to Thames. This was attacking the shit, man. Can't be doing that. What are you attacking my shit for? Go the hell away. Die. Thank you. So. What we're taming today is in this stretch of water here. If we can get our eyes on it. we got to look for it. Yeah. No, that's a fishy. Let's get into here. Let's have a look around. See if we can find what we're supposed to be taming. I know it's in here. I seen it. Where'd it go? Oh, come on. Oh, there it is. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. The otter. This is this is what I'm going to be showing you more how to tame. So it is a passive tame. No need for trunk arrows or anything like that. We got to keep our eye on it so we know where it is. Now this taming method is like the Ichthyornis. Or the Hesperornis, I think. I think it's a Hesperornis where you have to kill the fish. I have to kill this fishy. Okay. Kill the fishy, then we drag the body. We find the otter, which was around here. There it is. We go up to it and we press Y to feed it. Feed and it tames. Just like that. Pretty, pretty easy. Uh, it probably take you mortals probably uh, a lot longer to do this, uh, but it's actually pretty easy. It's uh, one of uh, one of the easiest ones I think. Kill a fish, go to it, uh, press Y or triangle on it, feed it, and then it, it it's done. <laughs> no messing around. It doesn't get aggressive. It doesn't get scared, so it doesn't run away from you. So yeah, pretty pretty easy. But these guys are really really cute though. No, I didn't mean that. Can I? Boop, hood. But they got little fangs. I don't know if you noticed these. Fangs on. Uh, where's it going? Fangs. Them fangs there. <laughs> Not exactly rendered in properly. But yeah, they're still really, really cute. And they're pretty good for certain things as well. First thing is for insulation, like this, because they go around your neck and they provide some hypothermic and hypothermic insulation for you, which is pretty cool. It's a mobile air conditioner basically, it just keeps your temperature just nice, so that's really, really cool. It's one of its abilities. Its second ability is to go hunting for fish and to gather silica pills and black pills from those fish. Yes. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to turn the hood back on. I'm going to show you how to do it. So, obviously, make it follow you. So it's following you, right? Then go to behavior and turn its aggression to aggressive, obviously. Then you can either pick it up or do this near a body of water. Chuck it in the water. And it'll just go hunting for fish. Like that. Now you can, if you're in a small pond like this, uh, you haven't really got a lot to worry about. Um, because the warning is that the otter doesn't seem to have a lot of oxygen. So that means they will drown under the water if they are, well, obviously under it for too long. So you need to keep an eye on that or just pump some, there we go, it's killing on it. Pump some oxygen on your otter. So you can just go and leave it, uh, do it all its hunting and then just come back when you really need to. Or when you've got nothing else to do, just go back um, and cr and collect your spoils of war, basically. So as you can see, it is literally just going into the water and killing all the fishes that are inside it. There's still quite a lot bit to go. Um, so, boom, it just moves on to the next fish and the next fish. It's actually pretty cool. Done, done. <laughs> so yeah. But once you want to like get it out and collect your reward uh, per se. All you have to do, because it is on aggressive, all you have to do is obviously whistle passive. And because it is following you, it will come out and it will present what it's found. Which it ha uh, it's found nothing. It's found nothing but meat. Which is not something I was looking for. So obviously it gets fish meat by killing the fish. But it can also gather silica pills and black pills from the fish as well. And once it has come out of the water it will present what it has got either silica pills or black pills yeah there are some other fish in here so I don't know what level this spino is but it's gonna die it's only level 20 so yeah oh see we got some mega piranhas and I just saw saber tooth salmon and all this kind of stuff so put it down Behavior and aggressive. Pick it up, chuck it in the water, and it's gonna, just gonna go fishing. Look at this! Boom! See? <laughs> just gonna go town on all the fishes that are in the water, which is actually pretty cool. Is there no more fishes, mate? No, that means there's no more fishes if he just comes back to you. Don't worry, you can swim over to some fishes and it will just naturally start hunting again. There's no need to pick it up and put it back down. Yeah, the smaller fishes seem to be a problem for it because it can't seem to get a bite on it. As you can see here, it's just going around in circles. But that might just be because of the high movement speed that I have set on my server. <laughs> Come on, ignore it. Go after another one. You're not getting it. There we go. Because I blocked you. You got it. There we go. See, now it's following me again. We can go over to some more fishies, which are over here. And it'll just start hunting. See, there's plenty of fishies. Go and get them. Oh, come on. <laughs> Right, if I block you, there we go. You can get a better line on it. Got that one. Got that one. I love watching them hunt. It's actually pretty satisfying. I don't know why. You just get in a, you just get a big pond with loads of fishes in it, and just watch your otter 
go to town on them all. Yes, these are coming over next. Where the hell is my otter gone? I can't see it. Where'd it go? My otter has swam off somewhere. And it hasn't presented me with its findings. There it is. I couldn't see it. Alright, kill that fishy. I'm going to go over to the shore. And then you're going to come over and present your findings to me, otter. It's over there. Can you see it? So if we just go passive. And you might not be able to reach from here. Passive. Come on. That'd be an ass. Oh, it's getting attacked. That's why. Just come over and give me your findings, will you? Come on. Ignore them. It's getting shocked. Hi How did that not hit him? I don't want to hit my otter. Die. Die. Now it's following me again. Here we go. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, I didn't get anything. Damn it. So, yeah, you will see either a silica pearl, which is white, or you'll see a black pearl with a slight glow in it, which means that it has gathered a black pearl. It's not a definite thing when it does go out and harvest stuff, which is a bit unfortunate. If the rates could be turned up for how much they harvest, it would be really, really cool. But they're not exactly likely to gather them. They just have a chance of gathering them. Um, but it's still uh, pretty good to have early on in game, especially if you can't go hunting for yourself, like with creatures on land. If you get an otter, uh, it can get loads of fish meat for you, and you can cook it up and eat it, and you just a way to stay alive, basically. So a pretty good early on companion to have. Uh, do you want to land, please? Stop circling. Everything in those arcs has got brain worms, man. Stop. Thank you. So, that is how to attain the otter. So, I hope you found it informative. And if it helps you out in any way, please don't forget to show that like button. Who is boss? By punching it in the face. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And as always, mortals, don't forget to share it with your family and your friends. And around the world but that is it i am mortal t and i am out